this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and today we're going to be doing a demonstration using the gel press and the acrylic paints and the alcohol inks. So we're going to be using tin peas and chalk um, and I think the colour we'll use, maybe we'll use a combination actually of eggplant and mushroom. Let's just Let's just go with the flow. Okay, so tin peas. Let's pop some of that down. And next to that, we'll put a little bit of chalk. And then I'm just going to blend those two colors onto the gel press. don't want too much on there so just be mindful of that. I'm going to just blend that and that gives us a really nice sort of pale green crossing over into the white. Okay so I'm going to take our flourish, pop that down and then as the paint dries underneath we will roll our brayer over the top and that will take the paint out. I'm applying a little bit of pressure there so And now we're going to use our alcohol ink. So taking the mushroom, I'm going to bob a little bit down there and using the smoothie where I've used it before on the mushroom I'm just going to go over the top of that Just work my way up on that side. Okay, and then the eggplant. So again, picking up the smoothie where I've used the eggplant before, I'm just going to dot that over the top again, blending those two colours together. not tried these colours before so fingers crossed they'll work out okay. I'm sure we'll be able to do something with the background. Okay, so taking that off now and we'll just pop that into some water. And I'll just double check that this is all dry now. 
yeah I don't think there's any kind of a sheen on that so that looks dry and ready to put a layer over the top of that to pull the image off so I'm going to go back to the white and pop a little over the top and then using the brayer just simply take that colour over the top. Nice thin layer. And I've still got a little bit of colour on here from the last one I did so there's a little bit of pink in here as well but never mind. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay so you can see the stencil underneath, the image underneath come through and that tells me it's nice, nice thin layer so I'm ready to take that impression now so give it a good firm press make sure that that whole image comes off And let's have a look, see what we've got. And that's really nice. And there's the bit of pink actually that's come through and I quite like that. I probably wouldn't be able to do that again. But, um, you know, no two are ever going to be the same. But I think that's what's so exciting about doing these backgrounds. I think that's one of my favourites actually. I I really like how that's turned out. All those different colours, it just looks so rustic somehow, distressed. Um, but it just shows you what you can create, you know, using these stencils to make these fabulous backgrounds. Okay, so I don't think this needs that much at all on it, so I'm decided I'm going to just do a couple of hairs just sat in the corner here. So I'm just going to kind of, I'll do this one first actually. So inking up in the archival. So as I said before I always use Versafine on all my stamping projects however on the acrylic paints um, and the Yepo, um it's it's quite a hard ink to stamp onto um, it just doesn't come out do, too well um, whereas the archival on the acrylic paints and the Yepo. It, it stamps superb so um, it just goes to show you not all inks are suitable for all cards so okay I'm going to just pop that down give that a good press because there's a good bit of silhouette in this so good press and then our other one again make sure that's completely covered and then we're just going to pop this one next to him good press again go. Okay so I've got a little area there that just needs touching up. Ever so slightly. That's fine. And we'll just use a little bit of paper to tear ourselves a hill. they need to be sat on 
so I'm going to see what colours we've got going on here. So I'm thinking, let's have a look at that colour. Maybe I'll use a combination actually. So I'll try this colour now. That gives us a nice sort of pink background and then I'm going to use the chipped sapphire just at the top there. Just making that colour a little bit more dense. See what that looks like there we go that's perfect so it's picked up the colors quite well it works well with what we've got going on here so I'm just going to use that same color just to go around the edge and also this one uh, dusty Concord this was so I'm going to use a little bit of this as well And there it is. So, um, do we want any glitter on? Do you know what? I don't think that needs anything more. I think that's really lovely, nice and simple. Um, you know, and if it was a birthday card or a get well card or something, you can just put a little verse at the top there. Um, but I quite like that, just how it is. And I think either framed up or a board around it, I think that would be a really nice image to even hang on the wall. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching and um, you take care and we'll speak real soon. Bye for now.